Right, in this video I'm going to put a CIS onto a Canon MP610. There you go, MP610, just switch it on. Now, um, this one is not as straightforward as the others because I had to do quite a bit of working out on here. And um, mainly because of traps that Canon have put in there to try and stop things like this happening. But I've got there, I've had to uh, make one or two little things myself just to, uh, just extra to normal CIS kits really. But we've got there and um, it's all working fine so I've already tried it. Right, um, what we're going to do to start with, switch the printer on obviously and the carriage will come out as it has in there. If you look here, there. The, just point out a couple of things of that there. This is just a light so I can get some uh, light into there so you can see. Anything else around is just um, other printers that I'm doing for people or experimenting on. So all you've got to concentrate really on is this printer and this here is the CIS. And here to the right we've got the bottles. They're holding the ink there through to the cartridges there. Right, just before we start with the CIS, just let you know the bottles there must not be higher than the printer. So if you've got the printer on the table, the bottles have got to be on the table. If you have those bottles above the height of this, gravity will pull ink through and flood your printer. So whatever you do, no matter how much air you see and you think you might clear it out, don't do it. Because you will flood the printer. The air will disappear by itself anyway. Right, we've got the bottles there, and if you look here, I've pulled out these small um, rubber bungs at the top of each one. And what we do is get one of these spacers. This is one that I've just picked up off the table. It's been used before, but I just want to show you how it goes. You just put it in to there. Let me go down closer. There you go, look, into these small holes, you put one of each of these spacers. Take the bungs out, put the spacer in to let air in but ink won't go flying everywhere if you accidentally knock it. It's very important that you remember those two things. The spacers must be in, else ink won't be able to travel. And if you have that above the height of this printer like that, if you have it any higher, it will flood. So it's very, very important that you remember those. So you get that all set up, and now we move on to getting this CIS into the printer. Right, what I've done, I've gone into here, let me just uh, show you, I've gone into the head there, and I've lifted up, it's pretty dark in there, let's get that light under, there you can see it now, this grey thing lifts up, the grey, you lift it up and take out the head, and if you notice here, can you see there, I put some little rubber rings onto each colour, you get, you get all five in the kit, there's a big one there for the big black. You just lay them over there like that. If you can have a look. Let's see if we can get some more light on there to make it perfectly clear. There you go. Those rubber rings must go on. Whatever you do, don't use a CIS without those rubber rings on. Make sure you put all five on. Pretty simple to do. Make sure you do it. Then you clip your rear head back into the printer. there, fiddled about a bit there because it's uh, a bit of a long reach. Right, what I'm going to do now is go to uh, start putting the CIS in. First of all though, I'll move this lighting to try and get it a bit brighter. Now I managed to get the camera down a bit and in, so I want you to see inside here, if you look just here, I put this little arm here. This is going to hold the piping. If you look there, the back just peels off and you stick it down onto there to hold the piping into place. So just thought I'd show you that before we go any further. Right, what I'm now, I've got the cartridges in my hands. What I have to do is turn them over, like this. Let's just move that back a bit. And what we have to do is take off these orange clips, one at a time. By the way, you'll see ink all over my hands, and as I say in all my videos, I'm always working with cartridges. That's where the ink comes from. It doesn't come from these CIS. You will not get ink all over yourself like I have. I've always got ink on me. I suppose I always will have. There you go, but don't be concerned about my hands. You won't get filthy hands like this. Now, I've got the cartridges like that. Chips at this end, look, facing me as I go into the uh, thing. Make sure the clip is up. Now what we need to do with these cartridges, we've got to turn them over and clip them in to the um, head. 
So here we go up, just turn them over, put, put them all in together, click each one down. Right, that's it, they're all in. Then what we've got to do is make that sure that's coming off straight to the left. Just click that down and we're ready to put the piping across. So what we do, if you look here, let me see if you can see yet. Yeah. Coming across to the left, keeping it straight, don't twist it, curling back on itself and then we just thread it into the arm that I placed earlier on. This isn't very easy for me because I'm behind the camera and trying not to uh, block it. What I'm going to do is, I'll just show you that again, cross to the left, curl back on itself and into the arm. I'm going to stop the camera now so that I can get in there closer to do it. Right, as you see now, I've got that into there, look, got it in. And what I'm going to do is get the piping to come across and to be held out of the way. Now, because of all these little traps that uh, Canon have put in, all these little bits trying to stop things like CIS, I've had to make something for these printers, the 6, 10, 20 and 30. I've just had to make a little clip, that's all it is, a little plastic clip there that will stick on. Just peel the uh, sticky bit off and it will stick down. So if you do buy one and, it, and your printer is a 6, 10, 20 or 30, do uh, make sure that I know that you're going to need one of these clips. So if it's a 6, 10, 20 or 30, just let me know that you've got one of those models. I'll make sure you get one of these little clips that I've made here. What I've got to do is I've got to go up here into the printer. Now, can you see my hand there? I'm going to stick it there. See, there. There it is on that ridge, just the top of that ridge. That's going to hold the piping into place. What I'm going to do is going to come around it and just hook it underneath it. It's got a little hook on the back there. I'm going to hook it underneath. It's very, very hard because it's not hard to do, but it is at the moment because I'm behind this camera trying to show you everything and also trying to do this, which makes it so bloody difficult. It makes it look harder than what it is. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the camera again and put it into place because I can't do it like that. I just can't get in there.